Alright, so this is my do-it-yourself handheld stabilizer based off of the uh, cotton candy one and Ryan's T2i do-it-yourself stabilizer. Uh, the difference is, instead of their um, setup with the T and it going straight down off of that, I built a box 90 degrees set up here and you can see I did a little um, eyelet uh, thumb screw here that went up through a T piece here and this allowed me to thumb tighten the camera on rather than using a quick release and uh, it is spring loaded to pull the camera down onto it rather than screwing up into the camera which I prefer. I super glued a fender washer here uh, as you can see to stabilize the camera a little bit extra and then just 90 degree elbows here. Uh, I made this part go down a little bit longer, put a little hand grip, wrap this on electrical tape and ideally when your camera's on it you hold it right here and if it's balanced right you can use one finger here, uh, one finger right here and it'll balance perfectly on that and stable this way, you're still going to have a little bit um, of control with this hand to do this way, which is nice. The other difference is I use fender washers here. Uh, they cost a little bit more, I believe, but you have more precise um, weight distribution when you place them here and here. Then I just put those on end caps for a half inch PVC, put a little it's like a quarter inch screw through there to so hold it and you're good to go. So I find this thing to work pretty darn well for spending maybe 20 bucks max on it and if you know what you're doing right away and how many weights you're going to need initially you're not going to have to spend uh, 15 bucks probably so I think it's pretty darn good and like people say you get 80% of the performance for 10% of the cost rather than just going all the way, buying glide cam, spending 450 bucks or whatever, and um, you're gonna get the performance, but this is a little bit cheaper alternative for somebody just getting into it, and I prefer it. Also, you can paint the whole thing in black. I was just like, just be careful when you're painting it all in black because these parts that insert into here and here are not gonna go in as well. So that's something to think of, uh, paint it while it's all put together but I like to keep it um, able to fold it apart so I can store it easily in my backpack. Other than that, there it is. Works pretty well. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. And yeah. As you can see in this clip here, I am sprinting full speed as fast as I can through the house with socks on uh, before I slip. So it's pretty darn fast. the do-it-yourself is quite significantly better. Obviously not perfect, you have a little bit of vibration. The PVC I use with it um, shakes up and down a little bit. So maybe building the whole thing using three-quarter inch PVC rather than half inch could work. 